Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Fold Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. After a really exciting Monday with player picks, 86 plus double upgrades, and a pretty good value TOTS SBC, we are headed into a Tuesday that is a lot of potential. There's a lot of hype because of a leaked SBC for an Icon Moments player pick. And you might be like, Nate, why would we get an Icon Moments player pick? We have the Icon Moments upgrade pack available right now. Well, that's the question that we are asking, but there are leaks telling us that th this SBC is dropping today and there's already people investing and moving, prices moving on the market because of this leak. So we're going to take a look at that today, talk about it. Again, today's a potential day for a lot of content with guaranteed TOTS SBCs still not released as of yet. Uh, and today, tomorrow, Thursday would all be very prime days for those SBCs to drop. So it could be a really big day of content on Tuesday today. So if you're excited for it, hit the thumbs up on the video. And of course, subscribe if you're new. Let's take a look at that leak right away and straight away and see how it's impacting the market already. This is the tweet right here that has got people going crazy from Arcade Foot. I know it's not a foot sheriff and a lot of times on this channel and in general, uh, we took it. Take a look at the foot sheriff leaks. Those are he's honestly been one of the most accurate and reliable leak accounts out there this year. Um, RK Foot also does post leaks, um, and usually they're pretty accurate as well. He posted actually yesterday. Uh, sheriff did not post, uh, but he posted the 86 plus double upgrade and the Vela SBC, uh, whereas uh, Sheriff did not. So do with it what you will. It's a leak, right? So we take it with a grain of salt, but this is the tweet. Tomorrow, Icon Moments Player Pick SBC. Of course, he tweeted this yesterday. So of course, today on Tuesday would be that tomorrow that he is referring to. And that would be crazy, right? This, of course, started moving things on the market right away. If you take a look at SBC fodder, some of these cards are already up. Sergio Ramos is 25, 26,000 coins at the moment. If you take a look at his graph, um, basically the leaks came out right around here. He went from like 23, 24K, started to rise up to 25, 26. And that's where he's chilling right now. I mean, let me take a look at Lewandowski. I bet he's up too. Lewandowski is 60,000 coins. Whereas before the leak yesterday, I mean, guys, it's literally like clockwork. Yesterday, there was nothing requiring high rated cards that came out in yesterday's content, right? The Vela SBC, the 86 plus times two was an 83 rated squad. So nothing was requiring these higher tier fodder cards. This is all... This rise on the market is purely based off of investing and people preparing and buying cards off of this leak right here. Now, let's say this SBC is going to drop today. How can we get prepared for it? What's going to happen? Well, I took a look back to FIVA 21 just to kind of see what these SBCs were priced um, back then. The first Icon Moments player pick that we had in FIVA 21 was in July. I mean, the Icon player pick and upgrade pack SBCs are coming so much earlier this year. It's crazy. But also, Icons are so cheaper and behind the power curve. And I think EA realized that. That's why they're giving us the better SBCs so much earlier on. Uh, we did have a Primer Moments player pick that was released last year that was like 600, 800K. It rose up a lot towards the end. That was in June, though. I think the best thing to look at is how much the Prime Icon player pick was released for when it first came out. Uh, and some of these other player picks that were released at the very first time they were released, the base or mid player pick was like 800,000 coins. The prime icon player pick the first time, not last week, week when it was released. Of course, last week it was really cheap at 300K. The first time it was released, 662,000 coins. I really think that if they're going to drop an icon moments player pick SBC on this game, of course, right now we have the icon moments upgrade pack, which is around... Um, 580,000 coins to complete. This is just for a pack, not a player pick. I would imagine that the moments player pick is probably going to end up being like 750 to 900,000 coins. I don't know if it's going to quite reach that 1 million coin threshold. I feel like that would be a bit too much. Um, but I think regardless of whatever the cost is, if it's anywhere under a million coins, people are going to make excuses to do it because people are going to be very hyped for the first icon moments player pick pack. And people have SBC fodder right now. That's one thing that's very obvious. All the saved up packs from the weekend. Of course, yesterday we had the 81 plus player pick. We had all these upgrade packs, the 86 plus double that is released. People are packing team of the season cards. They're getting them from objectives and SBCs. People are going to start having a lot of that higher rated fodder in their clubs. And they're going to want to start to grind a player pick icon upgrade like a moments pack if that was to come out. So I just think that right now, 
EA would be very smart to release this SBC. It's right before Prem Tots, but it's also in between a period where a lot of people have opened packs and you've seen people go out and do SBCs. Um, you know, I've had a lot of guys mention, hey, should I do moments icon SBCs like Vieira or like Lam? Because I just have so much fodder in my club and I, I don't know what to do with it, right? And this would be EA's perfect opportunity to say, here you go, here's something that you can do that everybody's gonna wanna do, right? Because people absolutely love icon player picks and especially to get only icon moments from a player pick. That would be so incredibly hype. There'd be so many people, of course, that would have interest in that. So, um, you know, I, I think that this SBC for 700 to 850,000 coins is probably like that sweet spot in there. I think a lot of people would go in and do it. I think you still would see, even though like we just looked at, these fodder cards are up in value. I think you would see these cards still rise a decent amount more. I mean, 90 rated at 40,000 coins. We used to say earlier in the past couple months, 40K used to be an incredible deal, right? These cards would usually bounce between like mid to high 40s and then bounce up to like 60K in their peak times. And now fodder has gotten so low in the past couple of weeks. It was 33K for these 90s over the weekend. Now they're rising back up to around 40 with the hype of this SBC and the Icon Moments upgrade pack that was released on uh, Sunday. So, you know, I think that these cards could go up a little bit more. Now, of course, with all the investing that we saw, like I was mentioning, a lot of these cards have gone up, like this Ter Stegen once again. Just to take a look at another fodder card, people have invested a lot. So the risk here is that if they don't end up releasing this player pick and it doesn't come out, especially in the next day or two, then you're going to see these cards drop back down a lot for the weekend if that SBC does not actually happen. So that's the risk that you run here. Um, you know, if you think that it is going to come, you, you trust in that leak and you want to go for it. I still think that maybe going out and buying a few fodder cards is not a bad idea. Uh, whether it is an 88 rated card, whether it's maybe you, you need to stock like a 90 or 91. I think that going out and stocking a few of those might not be a bad shout, um, depending on how much fodder you have. Getting your club ready to do that SBC, because I think if it does drop, you will probably still see, unless it's stupid expensive, you'll probably still see this fodder bounce up a little bit just because an SBC like that would have so much hype. So that's kind of the higher tier market right now. Let's keep talking about fodder for a second because speaking of low tier fodder, this stuff probably would not move as much unless the SBC for an Icon Moments pack would require like an 85 rated squad or below. Um, you know, your 84, 85, 86 rated cards, your 86s might move. They're not up that much, like a thousand coins a piece. I still think that 84s are a decent investment at three and a half to 4,000 coins. Again, we have two guaranteed TOTS SBCs that we would expect. They're added in the code. We would expect them to be dropped during this week. And I think that 84 rated would be the most popular rating of cards people would have to buy to complete those. So again, e even though we've been talking about the Icon Moments player pick, just to move on a little bit and talk about general Tuesday content, uh, I do think that those guaranteed TOTS SBCs or one of those two could, it could be very, very possible. They dropped them on Tuesdays and Wednesdays last year. If they're going to follow that same trend, we might see the first one today as well. So if you haven't stocked up on any of that fodder, my club is absolutely stocked with everything right now. I did the Vela SBC yesterday with a couple of my duplicates. I've got 87 and 88 rated duplicates in my unassigned. Uh, so, you know, the Vela SBC, just to speak about that for a moment, uh, I think it's a pretty good card. If we just go to Footbin and check this out really fast, since this is going to be the easiest place to do this, 90 rated cards, as we just looked at, are like almost 40,000 coins a piece, right? So you've got Gakpo, Ilicic, Gerard Breno as your cheapest 90s, and they're like 39, 38, 39,000 coins. That's right where this Carlos Vela is. I think this is basically a W card that is also fodder. Uh, a big weak foot upgrade from a two star to a four star. Really, really nice upgrade on the card. Of course, you had links to this card rising up because he is so cheap. That's two for two. Uh, well, honestly, three for three between. Boscagli, Vela, and uh, whatever, I, I forget the guy's name, the center attack and mid SBC that we had on Friday um, from the Serie A, Raspadori, that's his name. Uh, with three for three on pretty good value TOTS player SBCs that have been released so far. So that's a good sign to come um, in Team of the Season as the promo continues on and as we get more SBCs. So that was kind of yesterday's content in a nutshell, just to kind of complete that thought as well. Um, 81 plus player picks, you guys are like, Nate, which upgrade pack should I do? I think the 80 plus player pick, not 81, sorry, the 80 plus player pick, I think is the move. The 80 plus times two e-figs, you're like, Nate, you have to turn in one more rare, but you get two cards back. 
maybe try a couple of them but for the pack look that i've seen especially on my account trying a few of these just a little bit ago they're not that good um the, the that one compared to the 81 plus player pick the 80 plus player pick is clear in my opinion um i packed one tots from this yesterday Mazurai. uh so i've packed two in total still working on getting the counter down below so you guys can see that but we're going to open a lot more player picks this week i really want to get yuris really want to try to pick up some more of these community tots cards uh, from upgrade packs this week. So good luck if you guys are grinding those. And again, that's another option as we kind of talk about that icon moments player pick potential again. This would be another reason why people would want to do that SBC um, is because they could craft it with player picks and trying to pack team of the seasons uh, right now with a lot of great cards in packs. Now, let's say that SBC once again does come out. What's going to happen to team of the season cards? What's going to happen to the market? You're going to see a lot of the market, in my opinion, drop. I think you would see people sell cards um, and it would be a pretty, I think it'd be a pretty sizable sell-off. Guys like uh, Fred right now is 470,000 coins, 465K. A lot of these community tots cards are just kind of chilling in value. They haven't moved that much. Zaha is like three, 360 as well. Um, I think that uh, the combination of a really hyped player pick SVC, if it were to drop today, and how many coins that would drain off the market, or the combination of that, and with people maybe still waiting to buy these cards until we get weekend league rewards on Wednesday, pushed out rivals rewards, people are going to wait until a little later in the week, I think, with these TOTS cards to maybe make a little bit of an investment. So, um, you know, today, though, if we did get a moment's player pick, and in combination with the potential guaranteed TOTS SBCs, there might be a lot of movement on these cards, downwards and upwards. Um, depending on the requirements, depending on how much hype there is for all the content in general today. So if there's cards from this team that you really want to buy, keep a close eye out, especially if it's a higher tier card. I mean, just kind of remember where these cards have been at their lowest points. Zaha, for example, I'm pretty sure this is about as cheap as he's been. 358, there's a couple undercuts right there. But, um, you know, he was 350 last night, and I believe last night was the lowest that he has been. 350, he said he's been there a couple times. You know, what you're looking for when you're trying to invest in some of these team of the seasons for out-of-pack rises, if you think it's going to happen, what you really want to look for is just a day where there's like some panic selling or where you see a sizable drop because, yes, these cards are near their lows, but when you see that extra maybe 5 to 10% drop, so like Zaha going down to like 320 or 330 if he hits that point, that for me would be like, okay, this might be a really good time to get in on this card since he's been pretty stable and like 350 to 370. If he does drop in some panic selling to like a 320 or a Fred would go to low 400s, you know, Suarez to a mill, maybe one point under 1.1 would be a good value. Laporte at like 470, 450 maybe would be kind of decent. So just kind of keep an eye on these TOTS cards for the community TOTS. If you want to buy any of those for your team, this might create an opportunity if the content is hype enough. And then for the rest of the market as well, cards that have really ballooned in price, like Lacazette is up so much from where he was. Other cards are, oh, Marcelo got the price range update. He is 1.45 mil. When did this happen? This must have just happened. Um, yeah, okay, Marcelo got a price range update. Hold the phone. This has been a long time in the making. This guy's been extinct for like two weeks. Hold up. I want to see this. I want to see how many pages of Marcelo we have on the market because this guy has been so low for so long. Yeah, this must not have been for very long. Like it must have just been a couple hours. There's three pages right now and he's 1.45 is what Footman shows. Wow. All right. I'm going to have to keep an eye on this card because this might be a really good one to trade with. Um, 1.45. We'll see where that goes because that's crazy. Finally, a price range update for the best left back in the game. Glad that I saw that. But that to be mentioned, just looking at some of the captain's cards like we just were and some of the rest of the market, I think you would see if an Icon Moments player pick was dropped, you would see prices across the whole meta market probably drop in some panic selling, which would create some opportunities to trade with those cards for a potential bounce back after the panic ensue. So just kind of watch out for a lot of your meta market today if that does happen as well. Again, a lot of if scenarios today, not a lot of guarantees, a lot of, oh my goodness, this could happen or this might happen, but really we don't have anything. Nothing is ever confirmed until it actually drops in the game. So also eSports, speaking of dropping things in the game, can we get the team of the season card design? I mean, it is community team of the season and it is Tuesday. These cards have been out for five days now and we don't have a card design in the game, a search filter. Okay, EA, we need that. So thank you very much, please. Uh, Thank you very much for adding that in advance, I guess is what I'm trying to say. But yeah, we need, definitely, definitely need that 
to be added to this game. Other stuff to maybe expect today on Tuesday. It is a Champions League day, and we did have UEFA marquee matchups last week. I don't know if we would expect to see that same SBC dropped um, another time today, because if you think about it, the matchups that were put out last week would be the exact same ones that they would put out for this week, because we do have Champions League games today. Liverpool and Villarreal are playing, and then, of course, tomorrow on Wednesday is the really big game, Manchester City versus Real Madrid. Second legs for both of those. Road to the final um, final upgrades are on the line, right? I think some of your Liverpool RTTF cards are actually up a decent amount. Like I saw the Oxlade Chamberlain was up a lot. Um, I think Mane is pretty high. Mares is, is up a lot right now in price. Just kind of scrolling through some prices. I'm flipping to my left. Um, and so a lot of people are excited about those potential upgrades on those cards. But those cards are in action today. Now, last thing as a part of this video today, I know we talked about a lot of potentials, right? There's going to be a lot of hype for the market today. Just to summarize that portion of the video is there's going to be so much buildup. Again, you've seen people already start to sell some cards on the market um, because of the buildup for today's SBC. Sangare did really well yesterday from Sunday night into Monday morning. He had like a 20,000 coin rise. GG's if you bought any of those. I bought a bunch of uh, wine dolls. The left back from uh, PS, not PSV, yeah, PSV um, team of the season, that card, he did really well. Um, that's kind of like most of my trading from yesterday. I did have a bunch of Clint Dempsey's that I bought at 130 to 150K over the past couple of days after the Vela League came out, and then he continued to go up as well. So I made some decent money there. But um, I, I think that, you know, there's a lot of potential for the market today and a lot of hype. But again, it's only going to be realized when we actually see something happen in the game. So with falling prices today, if there is something that says, no, this player pick SPC is not going to come, but there's still a lot of panic, that might be another potential opportunity to watch the market move. So it could be a really crazy Tuesday on this game. Now, last thing I want to point out is co-op in FIFA 22. I just want to spend like a minute or two talking about this really, really fast at the end of the video is... EA FIFA Direct tweeted yesterday, uh, we're looking to start FIFA 22 cross-play, not co-op, cross-play test in the near future. Co-op between consoles, I guess, is what I was trying to get at. Because this, the really what this opens up is, let's say you're on PlayStation, your buddy's on Xbox, and you want to play FIFA together. You couldn't un until now. So the only bad part about this is it's next-gen only. PS5, Xbox Series X, and S, and Stadia versions of the game and it's also only going to be an online seasons and online friendlies um so it is not in fifa ultimate team as of yet but this is the same things that the leaks were saying i believe um we saw leaks and we even mentioned a couple couple weeks ago you can see down here some of like the notifications how it's going to pop up in game there's a settings toggle you're going to be able to say to opt in or opt out of cross-platform matches inside of those different game modes. So if you guys are interested in that at all, I, this is this is groundbreaking, right? This is huge just for the game in general. Everybody has wanted FIFA to be cross-play for such a long time, and we've been hinting at it and talk about it, and we're probably going to learn a lot more about this as it relates to FIFA 23 in the summer, heading into FIFA 23 this year, so like maybe in July and August as EA starts teasing the new game. We're going to hear a lot of information about this uh, cross-platform aspect. But um, I believe this said, learn about it in our latest pitch notes. So I don't know if it said when this is gonna actually be updated or when it's gonna happen. Um, how do I play? Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's given us a date unless I've uh, missed it. I don't see like a when is this gonna drop. So um, yeah, it says it's gonna be available. Yeah, so I don't know. I don't know when it's gonna drop. Maybe it says in here, I need to read it a little bit better. but. Um, it's just a test and it's not going to regard anything with FIFA ultimate team. It's just going to be outside of that, but that brings huge potential for next year and, uh, the FIFAs to come with all the, you know, cross platform gameplay, but also like the same market where you're on Xbox and on PlayStation, but you are actually on the same market or maybe even PC roped into that as well. That's where it could get pretty crazy. So, you know, there's going to be a lot to watch for on content today. Uh, also, for today is the last day of Weekend League, which per, for me, I have been performing out of my mind so far in my Weekend League matches. I've got five games to go. We are currently 11 and 4, and I was in a spot starting off 3 and 3 where I was like, Nate, you know, I am trying to hit 9 or 11 wins here, and we've pulled it off. We've already hit 11 wins, and we are hoping to actually hit that 14 win mark. I need 12 more points to get to rank 4, and that would hit me 
into the realm of the tradable community and air divisi tots three players pack so i would be stoked to get one of those uh because i've never got one before from foot champs rewards never got elite last year so if i was able to get uh, the rank four rewards. I'm going to finish that up today on stream. If you want to check that out, check the link down below in the description. Uh, we're going to finish this up and hopefully get our 14 wins and get some sick rewards or at least potential for that. So I'm pretty excited about that. That worked out pretty well yesterday. Um, and again, like I said, I made a good trade with Wine Doll uh, in the in the morning, but I didn't trade a, a bunch yesterday because it was a lot about packs, right? It was a lot about packs because um, we had those player pick packs and everything that were so hyped yesterday. So I'm not sure what's going to go on with this Marcelo. 147, 149. It looks like he's getting bought up around 15. So maybe that 145 Marcelo was actually kind of a buy, which is crazy. He was extinct at 13. Although on Xbox, he's not extinct at all. How much is he right now? Wow, this guy is so rare. He just fluctuated up 100,000 coins. He went from 145 to 155. So that's pretty crazy. Uh, I'm going to watch this one on bid, but probably not going to buy any after seeing that crazy fluctuation unless I can catch one. Oh my gosh. This guy's about to be one points. No way, dude. This is crazy. Marcelo's 1.6 mil. That's ridiculous. But anyways, that's a price range update that we needed. So again, huge day potentially today on FIFA 22 with Prime Icon moments player pick more importantly though still talking about those guaranteed tots spcs that could be that lower tier fodder rising up a bit if we get the area busy or the community team of the season tots guaranteed spcs drop today so all of that encompassed into a tuesday day of content it might be a pretty big day so we'll have to see of course like i mentioned already we'll be streaming it live on twitch that link will be down below in the description if you did enjoy this video smash thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It has been Nate Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.